Hello and welcome back Steam fans. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Fletch on Steam. It usually revolves around Steam trains of some description, but today we're talking about stationary Steam. Now, I was sent this kit by Sterling Kit, and there's a lot of controversy about uh, Chinese-made steam engines, primarily their safety. Lorry's Mechanical Marvels did a video on one of them uh, that didn't have a uh, safety valve in it which was extremely dangerous but this one does have a pressure release valve in it which is, is <laughs> looks good um it is it has come in kit form but the question around this video really is are these chinese kits any good you know are they worth your money because uh, they're not necessarily cheap they're probably coming in around a similar price to mamod and you know well-known brands that have been around for a long time is it worth putting the money out to get one of these. Well, Sterling Kit did send me this for free, in all disclosure. Uh, however, I've not been paid to review it or anything. They just wanted me to give my opinion on it and what I thought. I think without further ado, we just get into it, put the camera down, we'll do a bit of an unboxing and see what's in the box, uh, and then we can go through the process of uh, building it. Okay, so what do we get in the box? Well, the box itself has a nice works drawing of the engine and the boiler there. So we'll open it up. Um, so the first thing you get inside is the instruction manual and the operating manual. I did have a quick flick through before this, uh, before this video just to see what was in there. And it does seem like it has sort of instructions for building the kit in it, things like that. Um, and then towards the end, obviously how to lubricate, running in, forward and reverse, all that kind of carry on, um, and how to operate the engine. Um, I'm presuming this is the base plate, which is on top. So we've got a nice sort of uh, Iron Man red. Um, looks like it's a powder coated piece of uh, metal there. Um, and then in the box itself, you can see the shroud for the boiler, um, and some parts there. So yeah, so you have the boiler there. Um, and I'm presuming there's some parts in the boiler. This has uh, got some foam in there. And then yeah, so there's a pipe in there. And then there's, oh, that's the tray for the fire. So you put your fuel in there. I don't know what fuel they specify yet. I've not looked, so that's where your tray goes. Um, and then this is the boiler. So this is the boiler. It does look like it's a silver soldered copper boiler. So very similar to what, oh, and you can smell it as well. Similar to what model engineers used in general to make boilers um, over here. Um, and it, it does seem pretty sturdy. It's got two holes on the top um, and then it has sort of a viewing point port there for your sight glass, which is essentially then built into the side of the boiler. Um, so how that holds up to pressure, I'm not too sure. We have parts of the engine itself. So this is sort of the big end, I presume. And there's a, um, a valve chamber. And it does look like, it does look like it's been machined quite nicely. It looks quite clean on the inside. We'll have to see what the tolerances are like because that's generally the letdown of these sort of kits is the tolerances aren't great. Um, okay, we have a crank here. And it seems that the crank is already sort of pre-built to some extent. So, um, you know, you're not having to sort of put it all together. There's a lot in here to be fair. So we've got another tray. This tray contains further parts. Not too sure what that is yet. There's a, a flywheel bearings. There's some nice plates there that have, um, I don't know how well you can see it, have sort of designs on them. There's another one that says RW on it. Here's a part with lots of washers and gubbins and things like that. And then there's another bag 
with tools and it says sp spare part on it so yeah that's that uh, screws lots of screws and bolts and washers oh I think this is going to take me a while I was kind of hoping I'd be able to power through this but there's uh, a, va a valve of some kind there oh and there we go look everybody a pressure valve safety release valve a blow off valve that is good news that we've got one of them. I'm not gonna blow myself up. So that's awesome. Um, and then here we have a pressure gauge, which is in kilograms per centimeters. Now, well, you'll see that, I can bring that up to you. And then the final thing in here is the chimney. And it has some parts inside the chimney also. Oh, it has um, the sight glass inside the chimney. And that also has the gasket there and the front of the side glass to hold it in place. I will now cut the video and we'll do a bit of a hyperlapse and try and get this thing together. Okay, so it took that long that my uh, camera has died. So I'm just swapping over to the Osmo. Um, just to sort of give you an idea of where we're, where we're at now with this. So the cross head and the piston are in. We've got them in. Getting these two together and lining up everything was a bit of a hard a hassle, but I've managed to do it. I've put a load of lubrication in it. I've got some sort of steam oil here and I'm just kind of lubricating everything as I go along. So that is moving freely, which is nice. And you can see it there. My question about this is, as long as the piston doesn't travel that far, we're not going to have any issues, but that's the screw they tell you to use. There's no um, there's no chamfer inside for you to be able to sort of seat this flush. So I'm presuming when the crosshead's attached to the crank, I'm sure that's going to be the farthest bit of travel it can, it can have. It must be to about there, because you can see where the inlet is there for the steam. So... It's not been an easy ride so far <laughs> because the thing is these bags are just sort of numbered six, seven, but they don't really line up. So I'm just kind of taking screws from wherever because there's no there's no screw guide. It just says screw this down. That's why I was a bit concerned about this one, but it's the only one that fits. So we'll see how we're getting on. Um, the crank's in place. That turns nicely it's quite it's quite a smooth little running thing so i'm presuming the next step is going to be connecting the crank to the crosshead and and going from there Okay, this video is definitely going to be longer than I expected. So I put the piston on this way, which was wrong because it needs to line up with the, rever the uh, reversing lever. So I've put it the right way now. As of my earlier comments, this is the height of the length of the throw. So that screw doesn't affect anything. And in the, uh, the cover, the piston cover, it has like a bit of a recess in there. So I'm thinking that'll be all right once that's on. And then it is a slide valve mechanism. So the slide valve goes on there. You can see the uh, the steam ports um, and that's the slide valve there. And it will go inside of this steam chest and then go on like that. And then there is another cover um, and they all come with, with gaskets as well, the covers there. So, so far so good. I mean, it does seem pretty well built on the whole. This is very flimsy. I don't like this. I don't like how flimsy this is, but when it's attached to the, to the slide, it might sturdy up a little bit. So we'll crack on and see how we get on. Okay, well, I'm starting to enjoy myself now because I'm getting there with it. So the valve chest and the chest cover are on. The slide valve is in place, which is now um, attached to the linkages. So you can see the adjustments there. It's a bit flimsy, but you know, it's a cheap engine. Um, so next we're gonna attach the uh, cover for the bottom.
And then we also need to attach the intake, which has um, an oil reservoir on it by the looks of it. And then we also need to uh, do the exhaust, um, which is there. Okay, so that's the engine done. Um, exhaust, intake, flywheel, and the tiniest screws ever to get this nameplate on, which I'm presuming is its name, Rocking Whale. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's took me a while longer than I thought it would, so let's crack on with the rest of it. Okay, so we're now here. Um, I've put the boiler in situ. It now has the glass in um, and it has the pressure valve and the um, pressure gauge and a regulator here on top. Uh, it also has the steam pipe in which goes through the chimney, which I'm kind of guessing is sort of a, a cheap way of trying to do a Superheater. I don't know how much superheating it's going to do, but it's, it's, it's worth a try. Um, and then that pipe then connects to the engine there. So the next step is to get it on the plate so it's all together. I've also put a handle on this, which is the fuel, um, fuel plate. Um, which then fits into two holes there, which is kind of cute. So yeah, it's all coming together. It has been quite a joy to build actually, so let's get it finished up. So she's done. There you go. There you have it, people. I thought I'd run out of screws for the feet, but I managed to find some. So I think the only thing to do now is is get a fire in her and see how she does. So let's do that. Okay, so it's time to give it a whirl. If you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but we've got about a 60% fill line of water. I used the ionized water and then here I've filled up the oil reservoir, the fuel reservoir is ready, so I'm going to light her up, put her in and see how we get on. Okay, so we've reached working pressure of two bar, so let's see. Oh, she's about to go. Oh, she's priming a little bit, that's alright. Go on. Oh, there we go. She's running. So we're reversing her the other way. Nice. She's creating quite a plume of steam, you can see there. That, I'm impressed with that. I am impressed with that. That is not. Oh, you can slow her right down as well. It did say to slow her down to run her in. That is nice. She's running. She's about half a bar now. If you can see that. Yeah, she's running about half a bar. And you might be able to see the fire in there. I don't know how well. No. But you can tell the water's boiling. Yeah, how cool is that? That is an awesome piece of kit. Right, I'll just shut her down and let her build up some steam again. Yeah. Oh, I'm mega impressed with that. I, <laughs> I thought there was a high chance it wasn't going to work or something along them lines, but it's, uh, it's really impressive. I can tell how excited I am. <laughs> All right, she's up to two bar again. I don't know when she's gonna blow off, to be honest. I do want it to blow off, really, to check that it works. And I think it is blowing off, but just really quietly. It's getting up to three bar now. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it is blowing off. 
Right, should we give her a go? Let's open her up. I think she does need a tap each time. Oh, there we go. Turn it down a bit. That is so cool. She is running nicely. The steam pressure seems like it's a bit sporadic and that's why it slows up and down, but you know, the boiler isn't amazing, so. Cool. Well, there you have it, people. The Chinese steam engine works. And uh, it's a pretty little thing as well. That is cool. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, it's pretty cool. Look at it. It's been idling away there for about 10 minutes next to me. And I'm running it in, but usually these engines give up the ghost after a couple of minutes. They won't run like this consistently. And it's just so well built. Um, it's really, really cool. I think uh, the manufacturing's done really well. The timing's great on it for what it is. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Usually with these things, I think, mm, you know, they're a bit tack, but this one, this one I'm impressed with. They've done a really good job on this. So if you want to buy one, I'll put the affiliate link down below, and I also have a discount code, Fletch on Steam, so stick that in there and get a bit of money off if you want to buy one or get one as a gift. I definitely think if there's someone who loves Steam in your life, it's a great gift. Um, well, yeah, for a Chinese steam engine, it's okay. It gets my approval. <laughs> Definitely gets my approval. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. Um, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.